Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be trying the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Advanced Repair Barrier Cream. This product retails for $48. I have not tried a Kiehl's product on this channel. From what I've seen, they don't release skincare very often, and so I haven't had a chance to try out any of their products on this channel. This moisturizer, though, is very exciting. I've seen a lot of people talking about it on social media. Not something that I was initially going to review at first, but I saw it and I kind of was drawn to it because a lot of people are talking about how great this product is. So I wanted to put that to the test myself and see how it performed on my skin. Kiehl's is not a cruelty-free brand and I couldn't find any information on whether this product is vegan or not. I'm not an expert on checking ingredients like that, so if someone is, please let me know if it is. The highlight ingredients in this product include collodial oatmeal and beta-glucan. To check out the full ingredient list, make sure you click the link in the description to go to their website. Looking at this product from a surface level, it is seeming very similar to the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. That product is a lot cheaper than this product, especially for the value that you get. It is not a cheap product, but with this product being $48, I will just be looking to see if that price point is worth it. Obviously, this is a moisturizer as well, and it's supposed to be for dry to extra dry or sensitive skin. So another big thing I'll be looking for is does it cause any acne. I really want to see if this product clogs my pores because sometimes moisturizers can do that even if they are designed for sensitive skin. The final thing that I'm looking for is what type of finish does it leave on the skin. Sometimes really hydrating moisturizers can be extra greasy on the skin and leave a really heavy finish and so that will be another thing I'm looking for. As for anything else I will be continuing to do check-ins. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all a quick check-in on this product. I'm not gonna lie, I am not the biggest fan of this product so far. It has a very weird texture, it really doesn't spread that easily, and in my opinion it's not delivering as much hydration as I wish it was. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the texture of this product. It does claim to be a balm to cream formula, and it is more of just like a balm in my opinion, but I haven't seen it be extremely hydrating. Another reason why I feel like I'm not the biggest fan of this product is probably because it has a lot of similar ingredients to the Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty and that product is one of my staples. I'm holding it to the high standard that I do that product and I'm not seeing any results so far that are justifying this product over that one. So as you can see there it is a fairly thick balm and then when you rub it in it does deliver some pretty nice instant hydration like I can definitely feel it but after just a little while it really isn't doing anything I'm not the biggest fan of the feel of this moisturizer I use about that much As you can see, it gives an instant glow to the skin. Like the hydration is definitely there at first, but it's very fast fading. I'm talking within the first hour. It feels like I haven't even put a moisturizer on. This product just absorbs and really does nothing in my opinion. And especially comparing it to the First Aid Beauty, I just, there is no comparison to me. That product is very internally hydrating. It's not greasy. This product, I haven't seen that hydration with. I have only been using it for a couple of days. I'm gonna continue using it and then I'll check in again. So I will see you all in the next check. -in. Hi everyone, I'm back to give you all my final thoughts on this product. For how much you give this product and how much this product costs, I really don't think that it is worth it. This product is very comparable to the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. The only difference is I actually saw some more nourishing and hydrating benefits with that product rather than this one. I really didn't feel like this product showed any notable results for dry skin. It did give an instant glow, but after that, it really faded quickly. I just don't enjoy that in a moisturizer. I don't want something that's too greasy, but I also want something that is doing something, and I didn't feel like this product really did anything. 
I really wanted to like this product because it had some very promising ingredients, but I would much rather get the First Aid Beauty. And I also know Aveeno has an oat collection. I haven't tried a lot of those products, but so many people rave about them. It is a little bit more of an affordable product. And so if you are looking for that, that could be an option for you. I personally love the First Aid Beauty and I feel like it is much better than this product. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week. And I will see you all in the next review.